G'day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we are going to have a little bit of fun and we are going to use four different photos and we're going to let our imagination run a little bit wild this week. So as usual, let's get started. Got our background layer here of our desert. Let's duplicate that layer with a command J. I've noticed that we've got some people in the background here, so let's get rid of those before we move on. I'm going to use my in painting brush. I've got my brush fairly small, so I'm just going to paint across the top of that sand dune just to remove those people. So now we've got rid of them, we're all set to go. So the next photo that we're going to bring over is a picture of an egg. Yep, a little bit bizarre, but bear with me. So let's come over here to our selection brush. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger and just click once on our egg. Let's come up here to refine. And on the refine selection box tool, I'm just going to drag that border down a little bit and you might be able to see that border sort of shrinking away. I'm going to smooth by five and I'm going to feather one pixel and hit apply. So that's got our egg selected. I'm going to go Command C back over to our desert picture and Command V. And we've got our egg picture right here on our desert picture. Let's come up to our move tool now. We'll drag this in the middle so we can see it a little bit better and easier to work on. Let's hold our shift key down and turn the egg around. And while we're here, let's come up to range and flip horizontal. Now we've got our dark shadows on this side, our light coming over from this side, we've got our lighter side here. Might just rotate that so you can get a little bit straighter. So now I'm going to blend the egg a little bit better into the desert background. So for that I'm going to click on my egg layer, come up here to select and selection from layer, just to put that selection on my egg back again. I'm going to add a new pixel layer right on top and I'm going to come up here to my color picker and I'm going to pick this nice blue part of the desert background. Let's click on our brush tool over here and let's make our brush a nice soft brush. Our flow needs to be 100%, our opacity at 100% and our hardness at zero. Let's activate our color and with our brush, we can make our brush a bit bigger. Let's paint our egg that nice blue color of the desert. Let's change the blend mode to soft light. And you can see it's very subtle. Just put those blues into the shadows here. Let's add a new pixel layer. Again, right on top. Let's pick with our color picker the sand color, the nice light sand color. Let's activate that color, make sure that we are on our pixel layer and let's paint our egg in that nice sand color right here and make sure we've covered all our egg and change the blend mode to multiply. I'm going to drop the opacity down to about 75%. Holding my shift key down, I'm going to select both of these layers and I'm going to drag down and then to the right and just clip them both to the egg layer. Let's get rid of our marching ants with our command D or escape on our keyboard. Now we can bring over our next picture which is going to be a picture of our window. I've just used my rectangular marquee tool just to highlight one window. I'm just going to copy that with a command C and paste it with a command V. Back onto my move tool over here, I'm going to make it fairly small but a bit taller. A bit smaller again and I'm placing it on my egg here. While I've got that highlighted, I'm going to come down to layer effects which is this little FX down here and click on bevel and emboss and just do it five pixels with the type pillow and click off that. We've got our egg and our window just embossed a little bit into the egg. Let's copy that window with a command J, move that one across, and command J again. So we've got three windows all the way across. 
And now we can just select all of those layers, hold my shift key down and select the three windows. And we can just move them into place, maybe up a little bit. Now we've still got all those windows selected. So let's go Command J and get three more, drag those down. And let's go Command J again and get three more. Move that down a little bit. Let's move these three down a little bit. Now you can see that they don't quite fit. So let's come right to the top of this window layer here, holding shift down and highlight or select all of those windows. Now we can just move them as one. So we can make them a little bit smaller, move them in place. While we've got all of these windows selected, let's group them into a command G. So now that we've got all of our windows in place on our egg, we're going to add another pixel layer. That one right on top. I'm going to click on my brush tool again. This time on my brushes, I'm going to use a nature brush, and this is another one of I am Resini's brushes. I'm going to use the nature brush here. I'm going to pick 500. This one here that looks like some grass. Come back to our colors. Double click on our colors, and I want a nice dark green color. So I'm going to pick a nice dark green color right in the corner here. Now I've got my green brush that looks like grass. Let's make it a bit bigger. And I'm just going to click once here and move it to the side a bit and click again and the other side and click again. So we've got our egg and our grass in place. So let's highlight all of these layers now, the grass, the windows and the egg and just select them all. Let's do another Command G and let's pull that egg house. We've got our first egg house. Let's come across to our move tool. Let's click on that group and let's go Command J and make another copy. Move that egg house across here, put him underneath here at the back and drag that up quite a bit, make it a taller egg house. Let's make another copy of the this egg house here, Command J. Let's move this one to the side here and make it quite small. Right on the side and bring it up a little bit. It's a bit of a smaller, maybe a bit taller. So we've got our three egg houses here. So now let's highlight or select all of those egg houses and let's group that to egg group one. So let's call that egg group. One and hit enter. Make it a bit smaller now. So we've got one group, we can move the whole lot of that over. Let's make it a little bit smaller and move our eggs right into the corner over here. See, my computer's actually struggling a little bit with this. And we'll make the egg houses a little bit taller and right in the corner there. Let's get our second egg group in place. So let's go Command J again. And let's call this one egg group two. And we're going to move that group, make it a lot smaller, and put it up here on the bank here, back of the other egg houses. Right up here on the bank, let's make them a little bit taller. So now we've got our two lots of egg houses in place. We're going to copy them again, Command J. One's going to be egg house three. These ones we're going to move all the way over to the other side, make them really small, want them right up on the horizon here. So let's make them smaller again. Let's make them taller and still a little bit smaller. Let's copy that group again with a command J. Let's call that egg group four and hit enter. Move this one across here. Something different, let's go arrange and flip horizontal. Got it going the other way. Might put that under three back there. So now we've got our little egg groups right on the horizon here. Let's highlight egg groups three and four and change the opacity down to 75%. So it looks like they are fading into the distance. We've got all of our egg houses in place, but we need to do something with the grass here to blend it in a little bit better. So I'm going to click on the background layer here. And I'm going to grab my freehand selection tool. So up here, my freehand selection tool. And making sure that you are on the background layer, 
and I'm going to use my freehand selection tool just to make a selection of the desert just in front of the grass here. So because I'm on my background of the desert, I'm just selecting the desert. I'm going to come up here to refine. And again, I'm going to bring that border width down. Smooth again to five, and I'm going to feather again to one pixel. So one pixel and hit apply. Now with that selection, on my background, I'm going to copy it, Command J. We can get rid of our marching ants with our Command D. So now we've got a copy just of that bit of desert. I'm going to move it all the way up to the top of all the layers. And you can see now that that grass blends a little bit better into the desert. Let's do the same on this group over here. So back onto our background layer. Still got our freehand selection tool. So I'm just going to take a selection just in front of the grass here and just grab the desert. We're going to refine it, change the border width, moving to five, and the feather is one pixel. So right up to one pixel and hit apply. We'll make another copy, Command J. Just got that desert layer here. Let's go Command D to get rid of our marching ants. And let's move that one up to the top. See that our desert goes in front of our grass, just makes it look a little bit better. We need to do the same on our layers back here as well. So one more, making sure we're on our background. We've still got our freehand selection and we're just going to make a selection of that background desert just to help the grass look a little bit better. Up to refine again, going to smooth to five, feathering to one pixel and hit apply. Making sure we're on our background layer and command J. Let's get rid of the marching ants. Let's move that all the way up to the top just to blend that grass a little bit better into the background. Let's hit our command zero. So we've got all of our egg houses in place. We've taken care of the grass. So the next thing we need to do is bring over our road. So I'm just going to come over here to our road picture. And for this one, I'm just going to copy the whole road with a command C and bring it over to this main picture and command V. I'm going to put the road picture all the way on top and I'm going to drop the opacity to about 50%. So I can see where the road's going. We are going to need a mask on here. So I'm going to click on my mask down here. We need to get our colors back to default. So I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to get my colors back to default. Going to pick my brush. This time I'm just going to pick a basic soft brush back to my colors. So now I want to be painting in black. So I'm going to hit X on my keyboard to get my colors swapped around so I've got black. Make sure that I'm clicked on my mask, the mask for the road here. We need to have our opacity at 100% and our flow 25 and our hardness zero. I'm going to make my brush fairly big to start with and I'm just going to get rid of all that on background here. That road's not anywhere near here, getting rid of a fair bit, so it's not on my background. Sky, through the road in the background here, and a little bit, so it's just fading off into the distance, making my brush a little bit smaller. Going to just get rid of these posts, that post there. You can always swap back to white if we think we've taken too much of the road away. Make sure I can't see those posts at all. And I'm just going to lightly sweep across the road just so it looks like we've got some of that sand just coming across the road here. And I think that looks pretty good. So we've got our road disappearing off into the sand. Still got a little bit of that background here. So I'm just going to make sure that, that it's all gone. Fairly big brush. Got most of it now out of the way. So just a couple of more things to do on this photo. Not sure if any of you remember the pastel LUT that I have on the Buy Me A Coffee site. It's still there, still available for download, absolutely free. I'm going to use that LUT again. Let's come down here to our adjustments, come down to where it says LUT, and then come here to load LUT going to use that pastel LUT again. As I said, it's on the Buy Me A Coffee site, absolutely free. If you haven't got it yet, you can go over and grab it. And I'm going to click Open. And it's just going to put that nice pastel color grade onto my photo here. I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 40%. 
and let's have a look. So we've gone from here to here. Just made that picture look a little bit more pastel, just brings out the colors. So another thing that I'm going to do is add another pixel layer right on top again. Still painting in black. I've got my paintbrush. I'm going to change my flow all the way down to about 5%, really light. And I'm going to add a little bit more shadow. Making my brush a little bit smaller, it's going to add a little bit more shadow on the sides of the eggs here. This one a little bit down as well. And just behind this one, add a little bit of shadow there on all of the eggs down there and some around this egg and a bit down there as well. There we go. So that's the shadows added. Now I'm going to add my final little curves, just a curves layer all the way on top going to flatten those blacks, make it a bit darker, and then make this curve. I've gone just over the top on these shadows a little bit. So just on that layer, just the shadow layer, let's grab our erase tool and erase some of that shadow where I over painted. So there we go, everybody. That is my tutorial for this week. A little bit of fun, letting our imaginations run a little bit wild. If you have enjoyed the tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. Don't forget you can go over to the Buy Me A Coffee site to grab that pastel LUT if you haven't already done so. And also for this week's tutorial on the Buy Me A Coffee site, I will have a PNG file of the egg house is already done for you. All you have to do is download that and you can copy and paste that into your own projects if you would like to give this picture a try. So until next time, everybody, I'm going to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.